Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and this is Play to Win. This is a series where I play through games that I've never beaten, and I will just keep on playing them until I win. So basically, until I get good. I don't know, maybe we'll call it getting good instead. We'll see. You guys, uh, let me know in the comments what you think here. Uh, this will be heavily edited, so, e edited, edited so that uh, you don't just see me constantly play and fail the entire time. Uh, <laughs> so anyways, I decided to check this one out because I was playing Castlevania Chronicles, which is the uh, one on the, you know, PlayStation. It originally came out on the Sharp X68000, and it's basically an HD remaster of it, but for some reason it's just not as good as the original. So I figure let's just play the original since it's better anyways. Doesn't look as good, I suppose, but it plays a bit better and just, I don't know, it just functions a bit better in my opinion. So Castlevania is one of those games that I played a lot as a kid and I enjoyed the series quite a bit, but I just never beat it, you know, that's just how it is. I, it was not one of those games that I was very good at. I'm sure a lot of people could probably say the same thing, given the situation that, uh, <laughs> you know, you have such stiff movement in comparison to a lot of other NES games of the time. So it is definitely a tricky game to play. Uh, plus there is the infamous blowback, whenever you get hit, you automatically get blue back. Which, that's always a bummer, of course. There's, I don't know why anybody would go that way. And it's kind of weird that it's flickering there, but oh well. And another problem that the Castlevania games suffer from is the infamous stairs. The stairs in the games are infamously bad um, on how reliable it is to uh, get through them. Now, uh, okay, so everybody knows about this here in the original game. You knock this down, you get the pork chop. Um, don't play Castlevania Chronicles expecting that. Just, that's all I'm saying there. It's completely different in that game. <laughs> uh, and I don't want to spoil the surprise. I really want to, in a way, but I want everybody to figure it out for themselves. Which, by the way, I didn't play the game legitly. I played it via the PlayStation Store download that I got free from PlayStation Plus. Holy crap, you get a crap load of hearts in this. I... Well... I used a bit. <laughs> Not that it matters, because holy crap, this game just tosses hearts at you left and right, dude. There's more hearts than freaking Captain Planet in this one. Ah, that's a terrible joke, isn't it? <laughs> okay, in case anybody's wondering, I play... NES usually off of RetroArch. RetroArch is a, pretty much the best emulator to use, man. It's fantastic. And I think this is supposed to be just invincibility or something. Yeah, I think that's all it is. I should have kept the clock. Oh well. Maybe I can get a clock down this way. I don't remember for sure. Nope, just more hearts. Everybody's favorite. And there's our big boss man himself. And I got more hearts! Crap. Crap! Not what I wanted to do, game! Yeah, suck it! Yeah, that stage is always easy. Stage three, so the game proclaims. I don't know why the game splits the stages up in the way that it does. It's just so silly. It's clearly not stage three. We're still on the first stage, game. <laughs> Such a silly game, you, huh? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. So I do want to let you guys know, the only reason save states will be used is obviously if I can't complete the session. I'm not going to save scum or anything like that. Uh, we're going to play to win. That's the name of the game, people. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. 
Like, yeah, it's for 2,000 points, which really is not that many. <laughs> I guess points do factor into lives or something, but... Yeah, whatever. Let's move on. That's not what I meant to do. This is what I mean about the whole... There we go, that deals with him, I suppose, a little bit easier. Might as well make things a little bit easier. That's what weapon power-ups are all about in video games, is to make life easier on you. I don't know why I decided to go with this instead of the boomerang. I probably should have stuck with the boomerang, honestly, but... Give me the money. 100 points? Oh, shit. <laughs> We're already failing. Ah, we already lost a one-up, people. In case anybody doesn't know, the little two and three icons, they're meant to uh, symbolize how many weapons you can throw in one sitting. There we go. Platforming is never really the strong suit of the old-school Castlevania games. It wasn't really until we got to, like, uh, Symphony of the Night... Rondo Blood, those kinds of games where the platforming started getting decent, you know. So yeah, I got a 1-up for hitting 30k. So that's good. Okay. I don't think anybody wants a dagger, so wait for it to disappear. We'll kill them all. And let... God sort them out. Or flying spaghetti monster, depending on your belief systems. Ah, crap! Freaking A, man! Ha ha ha! Oh, jeez. I'm gonna do like John from Gaming Through the Decades when he was playing this game and play all embarrassingly bad and stuff. You know, at least I have an excuse, though, because I'm not a huge Castlevania fan. I'm a. I'm in mediocre Castlevania fan. I'm like the casual, you know? I play the major ones like Symphony of the Night and you know, Lords of Shadow and stuff like that. I really don't care about the uh, fandom stuff, you know, of it. So, uh, yeah, I'm still sucking pretty bad here. It sucks city in this one. But I don't know, I just thought it would be a fun little series just to play games that I've never beaten before as a kid. See if I could do it as an adult. Son of a... Why? Why does he move in that particular... The patterns... It'd be okay. I mean, obviously they move in patterns, but the patterns vary is uh, what the problem is. They don't always come from the same height. And I guess it is probably based on... It's based on a number of different factors, I'm sure. Finally! Finally we made it! No more Medusa heads for... I don't know, for a little bit at least. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't get why some platforms you can jump through like that and some you can't. That that never really made a lot of sense to me. Actually, we're good and didn't die from falling all the time. Now, this will be handy to have. In case we run into our little friend Medusa heads. And they'll be like, suck it. You're not gonna hit me. I'll just pause you. Ah, son of a... Okay, yeah, like that. <laughs> That's how we'll do it. Okay, so, uh, I guess we're on stage six now, apparently, according to this game's logic. Ah, crap. Well. I don't know if those were one-hit kills or not. Oh, son of a... Well, actually, that's useful against the boss, so... What the f... That really is a one-hit kill, man. Come on. All right, let's try it again. 
All right, well, we're through stage four, finally, aka the very first part of stage two, because Konami logic, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, finally we made it through, and we didn't fall in the first part of the stage there, which is good. I'm tempting fate here, but I want to make sure that we have plenty of hearts so we can spam weapon power-ups at the end and whatnot, and just make things generally easier on life. I'm glad that we had the boomerang power up. This should, in theory, make this particular segment of the game easier for us. Okay. Okay, we made it, I think. No more Medusa heads? Good, good. Okay, we made it. Without dying that time. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's a new world record for us, I think. Yeah, finally! Suck it, Medusa heads. We made it to stage six without you interfering with us. All right, so here's this little segment. Got a duck. That's what it's all about, is the ducking action. Nice. Doing much better now. Stop it, ghost frogs. I don't know why there's ghost frogs, but okay. Six hits from a max whip. I'd rather do that. And you want to do it a little bit off screen. So that it'll like maximize a hit. Ah, shit, you asshole. Damn ghost frogs. Stop it, guys. Nobody likes you. Okay. Ah, stop it. I, I just want to duck and hit. No. Why can't I? Oh, jeez. I hate those freaking stairs, man. I guess you just can't hit that. Unless you maybe do it when you're going up the stairs. Just take our time with those. And we made it to the freaking Medusa boss. Hells to the yes. Now we'll sit back and throw a bunch of these things and get killed, I suppose. Yeah! Suck it, Medusa! You're s freaking snakes, too. <laughs> well, that's a successful stage two or six or whatever kind of way you want to count it. We've only used one continue so far, so that's not bad, I suppose. <laughs> I guess by uh, uh, MLG standards, I've already failed this Let's Play. But, uh, that's to be expected. I'm not MLG. These hunchbacks, man, I freaking hate them. Can't hit them! They're infallible. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe uh, with the knowledge I have now as a gamer, maybe I'll do better against them. But this is the stage where I always start to struggle. Uh, this is where things really get ramped up in this- Ah! Stop it! I just want to go left! <laughs> Why can't you go left there, man? <laughs> Jeez. I love the theme music of the stage. It's probably because I was had to listen to it a whole bunch as a kid, because I always get stuck on this stage. Who, who had the bright idea to put a staircase there, like... That doesn't make any sense, people. All right, there we go. Not doing too bad. Uh, so not doing too bad so far, except actually, I think I do want to have the holy water against the boss. So we'll try to hold on to it as long as we can. If I remember the boss correctly, that's like a good weapon against them. So uh, yeah, we'll try to hang on to it. Hopefully, we don't die and, and derp out like an idiot. Which very well could happen, you know, knowing me. I'd be more surprised if I didn't derp out. That's... Ah, crap. Well, gotta love that blowback. Stupid Medusa heads. Yeah, there we go. Those guys, you just have to have the long whip and just wail at them. Good, good. We are getting a bit of a rhythm here. Practice makes perfect, right? Except I didn't practice at all, so... 
After all, this is the first time I've played this game in a bit. I think I played a little bit of it just as a demonstration for an unboxing I did. Or not unboxing, but a pickups video I did a few months ago. But before then, I hadn't played this game in probably years. So, uh, yeah. Okay, let me get in there. Got it. Crap. Is the skeleton gonna come back? Okay, good, good. Jeez, man. Crapsy! Oh, shoot. I think there is a health, man, but I don't know if I attempt fate and try to... Oh, son of a... What? Why? Oh, no, man. Holy crap, I'm screwed. Son of a freaking... No, man! Oh, I got so screwed over hard, man. It, it was my fault, but what kind of asshole level designer's like, hur, hur, I'm gonna put a fucking dagger there. <laughs> Dude, that guy is a dick. Whoever thought that was a good idea. Man, the range of those short whips sucks. It's not even comparable. Okay. Man, this is unfair as all hell, dude. How am I gonna beat the boss with that tiny ass little... And that's how long you have to wait for the whip. Seriously? That's torturous, dude. That is just freaking torturous. I know it's probably better to have the thing there, but what can I really do in that scenario? I guess you just have to get lucky and hope they don't get encroaching on you. Oh, man. Jeez. I didn't realize that boss was that easy. Like, if I had realized that, man, I wouldn't have been in such panic. I was really thinking, holy crap, I'm not gonna beat this. I'm gonna lose another continue. <laughs> Whew! Well, some victory indeed. Holy crap. It's time to... Now, this is the one I really struggle on, so this will be interesting to see. Our progress here. Alright, let's do this! I love the music of this stage, man. It's great. Crap! It's just so dark and foreboding. I think that's just one reason why people really love the Castlevania games. They just didn't make games like that back in that era of the NES. Like, this was like a unique little experience at its time. Okay, we're doing good so far. Crap! Why? What? Why didn't... What? <laughs> Why didn't my character grab the freaking power-up when he got hit by the enemy? It's like, oh, you got hit. You don't get it. Thanks, game. Oh, what? Why did I do that? That was so dumb. Oh, jump backwards to jump into the freaking bat. Brilliant. Yeah, the platforming really gets tricky in this game, man. It it gets challenging for sure. Okay, so that's uh, stage ten. Suck it, stage ten. We'll never have to play you again until we run out of lives, inevitably. <laughs> oh yeah, I hate this part, man. Those freaking birds dropping off my favorite enemies to fight. 
I know they're not too bad initially like this, but geez, they are so freaking annoying, man, once they start crowding up and stuff. And start, you know, getting in a pattern like that. Ah, freaking hunchbacks or whatever they're supposed to be, goblins or... I forget what the game officially calls them. Suck it, stupid dragon thingy. Ha! Oh, jeez. And the stopwatch will be of much help and assistance here, man. It will for sure. Not the dagger. The dagger won't be of any use to us here. I forgot if any of these can be broken. Oh, yes. Thank you. We needed a pork chop. I don't know why they call it a pork chop. It clearly looks like a turkey leg. I mean, have any of you guys ever seen a pork chop look like that? I haven't. Oh, good, good, man. This is, like, literally the best I think I've ever done to this point in the game. Like, I've got nearly full health. I've got the stopwatch. I've got 47 hearts. I've actually got a fighting chance against the boss for once. Holy crap. Except the stopwatch doesn't stop Drac- or him, it starts- Oh yeah, it doesn't work against the boss! Oh, I knew there would be a trick to this! I fucking knew it, dude! I fucking knew it! Ah! Oh. Now this will be really interesting! Haha! <laughs> AKA, not gonna be successful at all. Holy crap. Oh, you asshole! You changed the rules or the way you respond. How can we drop money there? I could have at least used those daggers against the boss, but no, I'm gonna be an asshole. I'm gonna drop money, because you obviously can't use money. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh yeah, you can't actually hurt the freaking hunchback. I forgot! Mm. That's so dumb. Like, oh, you can't hurt the minion of the boss. He has infinite health. Like, the boss is more fallible than the minion. Why not just have the minion be the boss then? So that Simon Belmont cannot progress. That seems like it would make more sense. I don't know. There's really not much you can do to avoid the attacks here, man. It's just you have to kind of like grin and bear it. You just have to kind of suck it in. Because, uh, you know, you get what you get. Okay. Crap. Yeah. Ah, come on! Why can't I jump two blocks over? Alright. So I think the trick is you're supposed to hug these, kind of, you know, and avoid the fireballs when the enemy actually allows you to. And he does not allow you to, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, here we go again. Another try. Let's continue number two has been used, people. But I don't mind that much because this part of the... Well, we know the stopwatch is useless. We're not going to bother with the stopwatch. I think uh, something like the fucking... <laughs> I think something like the freaking holy water would probably be best for us here. Sometimes I like to pause a little bit, because you never know when those freaking aqua dudes are going to jump out, or fish... fish people, whatever they're called. They like to jump out at random intervals. And ruin your parade. Well, we did pretty good there. This part... I think I can actually muster this part now. I think I can do okay on it. So, let's see here. We just need to press on as much as possible. We want to stop for as little as possible. We're not going to go for any power-ups or anything like that unless... I don't think Castlevania has one-up pickups. If it did, that'd be the only reason I would. That's kind of the way you want him to position. You want him to position in that way so that you can kind of cheese the hits on him. There we go. That was very good for us. Holy crap, that was awesome. Oh, jeez. Now 
There we go. Holy crap, we got a number three. We can just stream the hell out of these. And I got full health. I've got the holy water. We've actually got a chance, people. Crap, except we don't. Stop it, please. Stop it, please! Okay, so the holy water is actually not... I guess the dagger is the best weapon, because you can actually hit him through that little block there. And I guess the axe could be good, because it can kind of hit him and the Frankenstein monster. Ah, man. I am just not feeling good about this attempt here. The damage output of that little hunchback is insane, man. It is freaking... It's all over the place how much damage he does to you. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing you can do there, man. It is literally get lucky as hell. That's what your options are there. I guess it's better to keep a distance, actually, of this guy. Just hope he doesn't do the lower shot. Okay, good. All right, so I'm gonna keep a little distance. And uh, so we're gonna move back a bit. Crap hole. Son of a. Son of a! He's so accurate, man. He's freaking like. Yeah, stay there. Stay there, you bastard. You son of a. Oh my god. Okay. Whoa, game! Whoa, touchy controls! I did not do that game. The axe is right there. Son of a- No, it's- uh, Well, it looks like I'll have one attempt. <laughs> yeah, the Castlevania games, they're just really challenging, man. I think they're a little more challenging than they really have the right to be, if you ask me. Because, I mean, yeah, there's games like Mega Man and NES that are hard- er, er, NES. And Mega Man and Ninja Gaiden are hard, but at least you have, like, actual mobility. You just don't feel like it's your fault if you lose. In this game, it's kind of questionable. Like, sometimes I feel like it is the game's fault. With the way it's designed and stuff, instead of it being purely my fault. Maybe the- well, actually, the Holy Cross would be really awesome against the boss. There we go, we got an axe now. This son of a bitch now has an axe. Grab this. Nice. Axe does pretty good damage against those things, too. Holy crap. I could have swore one of the candles dropped an axe. I just don't know which one it was now. But I guess it doesn't really matter now, because we're now at a part of the stage where we can actually do good. What?! How many hits did that guy take compared to the others, is what I want to know, man. That guy took way too many hits. Oh, man! Oh, can't believe we're failing so bad. What is the fucking trick to fighting this boss? I really want to know, man. I really want to know what you're supposed to do about that henchman. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm gonna have to watch an MLG or how they do it. I need to try to mimic their moves as much as possible, because I have no clue how to deal with that hunchback right. There doesn't seem to be an effective strategy to stun him more than like a couple of hits. And then after that, he'll still jump and shoot fireballs at you and be basically the worst enemy of the game at, up to this point, at least. Ah, oh, man. Gosh. It's like, why couldn't you be a regular enemy like the freaking mummies a stage of four where you actually attack this directly rather than just walk around like a retard while you have this little tiny henchman guy throw fireballs and take a third of your health every hit ah now 
I know some people are going to defend the hell out of this game, but that is just bad boss design there. That is a terrible boss fight. Um, it, I know that a lot of the other bosses were ridiculously easy in comparison. There's just no excuse to have such easy bosses up until that point and then just ramp up the difficulty to 10,000 or something like that. That doesn't make sense to me. Oh, jeez. So, next episode, we will hopefully get through this game. Or at least get past stage 12, which is where this boss is residing. I really need to look into this and see what the actual uh, strategy is against this enemy, because I have no freaking idea. Maybe if I can actually move like a real NES character, like if I was able to move like Mario or Mega Man or Ryu Hayabusa or anybody that has any semblance of agility and not like Trevor Bellman or Simon Belmont or who we're playing as, then maybe I could stand a chance. But I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to keep on trucking. After all, it's play to win or getting good, whatever the name of the series is going to be. So hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Uh, but till then, now Phoenix out.